everyone hello you leave so today I'm going to be doing a beauty products I used up video and this is actually my fourth video of beauty products I used up now beauty products I used up or MT's video are some of my favorite videos to watch and the reason is that you know it's nice to watch haul videos where I show you guys products but then you really don't get to see what becomes of them and I decided that I would start collecting the products and then showing you the empties that I actually use up the products and what I think about them. Now some of these products I will be repurchasing in the future and some of them I won't be. And this is the best way I feel I can give you a more precise review as to what I actually think about the product after using it up completely and that's why I love these videos so much. Now this is some of the products that I used up. I always get asked what happens to the empty bottles after I finish using them and they all get recycled. We have recycling bins here in Germany where everything is separated like I literally have five bins in front of my house door so all these products get separated and they do get recycled or put away accordingly. So these are the products, some of the products that I use up. I don't save every single container or else I would be swimming in it. But these are the main beauty products that I use. Now the first product that I finished up is another bottle of the Bioderma. I absolutely love the Bioderma cleansing water. I think that it is one of the best cleansing waters that I've ever used and that I highly recommend also for very sensitive skin. I don't have a problem with it. It removes um, makeup like a dream and I will continue to buy it. I have been using the Bioderma now for years if you've been following me for that long, maybe about three years and yeah I absolutely love it and every time I get the opportunity to repurchase it I do which I recently did in a haul I you know repurchase uh, a few of these in Paris now this winter has been particularly cold and very harsh on my skin and for that I finished up four of these these are the Neutrogena body lotion with Nordic Berry. Now clearly this is <laughs> an addiction because it is so good. Um, I don't get that oily film on my skin. Um, it absorbs very very nicely and I do like that it comes with a pump. My only complaint as always is that the pump doesn't go all the way to the bottom so you find that you have more than a quarter of the product stuck here. And that is a problem I find and I wish that they would fix it but other than that this is an amazing body lotion and I absolutely love it because clearly I have used up four bottles of this in like no time and it is really good I have seen an improvement in my dry skin and it's not an issue anymore and I will continue to repurchase as long as they make these so onto the shower gels that I use. I used up three bottles of the Bath and Body Works shower gel. I love them. I wish they were sold here in Germany but I always have to wait until I go to the US to stock up or my sister brings them for me or, send, or my mom sends them in care packages because she knows how much I love these. They ladder up just like a dream. The one I really, really love was this one. It's called Endless Weekend and it has shea butter and vitamin E. And I also finished up this one. These are not the only shower gels that I have in my bathroom because I am big on baths and showers. Now here is a product I would not repurchase and it is the Garnier Makeup eye makeup remover and this is a two-in-one makeup remover and it says that it is ophthalmologist tested you get 125 milliliters in the bottle 
I find that if just a smidgen of this get in my eyes, it burns. And it was really um, difficult using it up. So at the end, I decided to use it to take off my lipstick because when it gets into the eye, it really burns. And I will not be repurchasing it. And I do not like it. And I can't understand what ingredient in it that caused my eyes to burn. And it's funny because I heard so many good reviews about it. Now the reason why I purchased this is that in our local DM, DM is a drugstore here in Germany, they always used to carry the L'Oreal eye makeup remover but they no longer do that and I don't know why. And I decided to try this because I was in a pinch. but. I don't like it and I won't be repurchasing it. The next product, however, is a favorite and which I favor a lot more than the Garnier is the L'Oreal eye makeup remover. Now this removes waterproof eye makeup just like a dream. I absolutely love it. It does not burn my eyes whatsoever and I made sure I found another store that carries it and I just stock up and if you watch my previous empties videos which I'll link all in the information bar below you'll see that I'm pretty consistent in using this and this is the one product that I decided to stick with because I was not buying the high-end eye makeup removers anymore because I think that it's a waste of money. When this one is so good, why spend double, triple the amount of money? So I absolutely love the L'Oreal eye makeup remover. The next thing I used up was a pack of my favorite cottons in the entire world and they are the Shiseido cottons. These are the best cottons I've ever used and they are worth every single penny. They are extremely soft, they don't scratch my face, they don't leave fuzzies behind, they absorb the product um, properly so none of my product is being wasted because I used to have these cotton pads where it used to absorb so much product and I was getting barely any on my skin and this is why I decided to try the Shiseido ones. I absolutely love them, very consistent with it and if you go back to previous videos you know that that's true. So, if you're in the market looking for some really good cottons, I suggest you pick up a pack of the Shiseido ones because they are amazing. The next thing I finished up, this was a gift from my sister and I'm really happy that she introduced me to it because I use this every single night. Completely empty. Now this is the uh, Vaseline Lip Therapy and I have the cocoa butter one and it leaves my lips feeling very soft, smooth to the touch, chap lips no more. I absolutely love it. I just wish that they sell these here in Germany as well. Um, they do have Vaseline but they don't have the, like the tiny you know cocoa butter ones or the ones that have flavor. I really really like these and they are readily accessible um, in the US. I think you can also get these online as well. You can order them to come here. So absolutely love it and it is definitely a favorite and I will repurchase this. Now the next scent that I finished up this is the 150 milliliter bottle of Chanel Chance Au Tendre and I absolutely love it. I say that a lot but it's true, I really do. It takes me 9 months to finish up a 150 milliliter bottle of perfume. And this scent is a floral, fruity scent. It has jasmine, it has cedar, it is the perfect spring summer scent and um, if you have not tried it before definitely give it a try I love the jasmine in this I love the cedar it's just a wonderful floral fruity scent and um, if you are into lighter fragrances then I suggest you check this one out now on to the last two items that I finished up I finished up the Shiseido Bio Performance Super, Super Corrective Eye Cream 
and this is the eye cream that I use every single day I use it day and night I have been using my Shiseido products for a really long time and I'm very happy with it I would not want to change anything about my skincare routine right now because my I don't have an issue with dry skin anymore or patches on my skin and I think this has helped a whole lot because I've invested so much money into other products that I have not seen as much results as I do with the Shiseido so if you have dry skin issues I definitely suggest you give this a try this super corrective eye cream really moisturizes my under eye and you know keep those wrinkles at bay <laughs> yeah for all you over 30 folks um, I do recommend it with that I also have the super um, the Shiseido Bio Performance Advanced Super Revitalizing Cream and of course I've finished it all up um, I just repurchase these whenever I'm out and these products I think are gonna remain in my um, skincare routine for a very long time to come because I actually like the results the only thing that I don't have from Shiseido anymore is a serum, but I went back to using my um, Chanel serum. I will do uh, some kind of a review or some kind of favorite videos or something like that to inform you guys more about it. But I finished up two of these beauties. They are both my night and day cream. So they are both in my morning and evening skincare routine. Those are the last two products. And my trusty little box here is completely empty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you were able to um, get some reviews on some products that you are interested in and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate that I love you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye everyone